Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Tiger, back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, with the release of 10 new Super Battle Stages, I think it's time for another team building guide. And there is nobody out there who makes better team building guides for Super Battle Road than Reddit user Prism Azure. So, that's what I'll be using in today's video and all the credits for the recommendations and the information that I provide in this video goes out to Prism Azure. Thank you very much for all the hard work and effort and time that you put into building these guides and just helping out the Dokkan community as a whole. We really, really appreciate it. But without further ado guys, let's jump right in and get this guide on the road. Now the first thing I want to do is read this little disclaimer that he wrote that I think is very important to get out of the way. So it says, Disclaimer, Super Battle Road is an event intended for endgame players with experience and a lot of diverse teams and units. This guide is targeted at the players of both the global and Japan versions and is not aimed at beginners. Now, that is very important, not aimed at beginners. If you're one of those people that recently started playing or only been playing for three to six months or maybe even up to a year, there is a good chance you cannot beat this event because it is supposed to be end game content it's aimed at players have been playing for quite some time and i mean if you're like a super whale and you will on in every single banner for like the last couple months maybe you can beat some of these stages but i think for the most part for newer players it's better to focus on the other aspects of the game first and then you know worry about super battle road later it's not like something you have to do right now because it's never going to go away it's always going to be there right so if you guys can't beat it right now, it's all good. Just focus on building your teams, focus on uh, learning the other aspects of the game, and eventually you'll collect good enough units and build good enough teams to take on and beat some of these stages. Actually, the one, the one stage that most people can beat, even if you are a newer player, should be the Ginyu Force one. But aside from that, the other ones could be quite challenging. So keep that in mind, all right? Moving on now to the recommended items. And support items are actually a very, very key, very, very crucial part of uh, success in Super Battle Road. And um, you wanna bring a combination basically of healing items and defense items. And the healing items he recommends here are Princess Snake for some healing as well as damage reduction. We got uh, Android 8 who is also a good amount of healing and defense boost. And we have the future Bulma who is healing and attack boost if you want to be a little bit more offensive. And then uh, the last item I don't personally use that much but it's the uh, Namek Frog and he basically I believe changes orbs and also gives you healing. So I personally don't use that one that much but the other ones I think are awesome. And the defensive items are uh, Ghost Usher obviously for skipping an entire turn of enemy attacks. Uh, we have Whis for damage reduction, we have Icarus for damage reduction, and we have um, the Nurse Chi Chi item who is a huge debuff to the enemy team. And he says here, two healing and two defense is optimal and that's what I like to go with as well. So I totally, totally agree with that. Next up is fundamental strategy. I try to get through this as quickly as possible. Take the best possible friend leader you can. Find 55% to 100% potential hidden potential activation. So ideally, if you can, find a friend that is 100% because obviously the stronger the units are, the stronger your friend is, the better your chances of, of success in that stage will be, right? The better your chances of getting additionals and crits and dodges and all that good stuff. And the next one is defense is essential. Units of capable of raising defense, reducing incoming damage, reducing enemy attacks, sealing, st stunning, and evading should be preferred to use. So with Super Battle Road, because the enemies do so much damage, it's not really about bringing the team that does the most damage as much as uh, bringing the team that has a balance of damage output and defense because if you're doing a lot of damage but all your units are glass cannons you're gonna die pretty quick because those guys are gonna super you for like 200k plus and it's just not gonna work out so definitely bring a balance of defense and damage um, output. Token mode should be used when the most foes are alive for optimal efficiency. So obviously the Dokkan attack is very key in Super Battle Road. It can literally save your entire run. So try to save it for a time when you're facing a bunch of enemies and can take out a bunch of them at the same time. Obviously you can't always do that which kind of sucks but when you can definitely save it for those opportune moments. Next up is focus secondary targets 
who often have uh, lower HP than the primary target themselves to lower their numbers quickly. Essentially, the first enemy in a fight will typically have the most HP, so try to take out the other guys first so that you have less enemies and therefore less attacks to deal with. And do not underestimate your enemy and allocate your item usage properly across all three phases of the fight. Pretty self-explanatory there. Don't be too stingy with your item. There's, it's a delicate balance, right? Don't use too many, but also don't be too stingy so that you'll die early. Uh, I always make that mistake where I try to save like four items for the last stage and I'll die early because of that. So don't do that. And last but not least, try to take out down the enemy one by one rather than spreading your damage on different targets unless it is necessary. So uh, once again, a delicate balance. Um, usually you do want to focus your attacks on one enemy at a time though so that uh, you can take them out faster and have less enemies to deal with once again. So there are the uh, basic principles or fundamental strategies of Super Battle Road. Next up is a little point about the team building. Hidden potential investment at super attack level increases are crucial. The more you invest orbs in hidden potential at super attack levels on your units, the higher your chances of beating the attempted stage will be. So essentially, the stronger your units, the better your chances are of success. And substitutes are units that can be used as replacements if you lack the example team, but they generally aren't as good. Additionally, not every possible option is listed. So obviously, with the recommended teams here, He's not going to be able to recommend every single possible team you can build or every single possible team that can build, beat each stage. He's just recommending what he believes to be the best possible team as well as some substitutes for the ones that you don't have. So now it's time to get into the actual team building segment of this video. And we're starting with stage number 21, Universe Survival Saga. So we have Tech Hit as the leader here and he is phenomenal as a leader mainly because he also gives Universe 6 units a 170% buff across the board. And then we have LR Kale and Khalifla, which as I'm sure you've heard, is one of the best units in the game right now. So no explanation needed there. Unfortunately, they are not available on Global yet. So I would probably swap them out on Global with UI Goku here, most likely. And then next up we have LR Goku and Frieza, another unit that requires no explanation. They're amazing, they hit extremely hard, they're going to be one of the main damage dealers for you on this team. And then we have STR Jiren who has that chance of stunning the entire enemy team and also has the criticals and he hits pretty hard so great option. We have MVP 17, good tank, good damage dealer and also some support. And then we have SSBE Vegeta who uh, once again can tank, can deal damage and is just a good overall unit. And then for the friend lead, he actually recommends a STR Jiren, and at first I was like, wouldn't tech hit make more sense here? But then I thought about it, I was like, you know what, you want to have that double chance to stun the entire enemy team, so uh, having the friend Jiren here actually makes more sense. So there is the recommended team guys for Universe Survival Saga. I'm personally actually missing a lot of these units. I don't have, obviously not killing Khalifa on global, but I don't have uh, this guy either, and I also don't have tech hit. So. Um, I would probably use some of these substitutes, which I'll talk about here. We have UI Goku, uh, Physical Kefla, uh, Int Bodomageta, who is actually a very, very good tank. We also have uh, Tech 18, Khalifla, this Rubrian that's not available on Global yet, at least her Awakened form isn't. And uh, this Tech uh, Khalifla, who's not available either. And also uh, Int Golden Frieza. So those are the substitutes, guys, if you don't have some of these uh, main team units and that is Universe Survival Saga for you. Next up we have Super Saiyan 3 and the recommended team here as you can see has a lot of the new heroes units so if you guys summoned on the heroes banner and pulled some of these Super Saiyan 3s then congratulations because they're gonna help you a lot on this mode. We have uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock as the leader obviously and then Tech Super Saiyan 3 uh, LR Goku or LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku for the damage output and then next up is the Extreme Z Awakened STR Super Saiyan 3 who is just an insane, insane tank. So uh, you gotta have him on your team, man. And also this AGL Super Saiyan 3 Trunks is an amazing tank too. This uh, Int Super Saiyan 3 Gohan is a great damage dealer but also a very good tank in his own right. And then we have this STR uh, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku and last but not least a friend um, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock as the friend lead to round out the team and then as far as substitutes go we, substitutes go we have some pretty good substitutes as well 
the Extreme Z Awakened uh, AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, or the Extreme Z Awakened Tech Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. There's also the Transforming Goku, who actually is quite a good tank, but unfortunately he doesn't have a lot of synergy um, with the rest of the team when it comes to some of his uh, phases, because he doesn't become Super Saiyan 3 until the third phase, right? So um, that's probably why he's a substitute here as opposed to part of the main team. And then we have the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, we have the Tech Super Saiyan 3 uh, Vegeta, we have Physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and last but not least, STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. So that is Super Saiyan 3 right there, guys. And number 23, we have Giant Form, one of the units, or one of the stages that I'm probably the most excited for just because I don't get to run this team very often. And the recommended team here is AGL Tapion, LR Baby, AGL Metal Cooler, Physical Lord Slug, uh, AGL Great Ape Turles, Great Ape uh, Tora, and a friend, uh, AGL Tapion. Yo, for a second I forgot his name, I don't know why, I just I literally just said it like a second ago. But that is the team for you guys and the substitutes, unfortunately for <laughs> this category, there aren't that many good units for it, I I'm just going to be honest, and some of these substitutes are obviously better than others. Um, but yeah, here are the substitutes. We got Int Shugesh, Great Ape Shugesh, uh, we have GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Great Ape Bardock, uh, Borgos, P uh, Piccolo Jr., Kid Goku, Raditz, and also Physical Rebrian. So that is the giant form for you. Next up is Transformation Boost, and as you can see, there's actually quite a few options for beating this stage here with different categories and different leads. The first one on top is a team led by the STR Super Boo, and you got LR Cell, the Int uh, Extreme Z Awakened Janemba, the Extreme Z Awakened Tech Golden Frieza, who is not available on Global yet. Obviously his EZA isn't, the unit itself is, but he's not nearly as good without the EZA. We have the Extreme Z Awakened um, Buhan, and the Extreme Z Awakened STR Perfect Cell, and last but not least, a uh, friend uh, Super Boo. So obviously, not all these options are going to be good for global because most of these guys do not have Extreme Z Awakening, so we'll talk about the substitutes in a second. Uh, next up, you can do actually a Pure Saiyans team led by the SSBE Vegeta, and for this team, it's Tech LR Broly, Transforming uh, Vegeta, we have the Transforming Namek Goku, who is not on global yet, we have UI Goku, Transforming Goku, and a friend SSBE Vegeta. And then next up is a Artificial Life Forms team. Now, these guys obviously are different leads, but all the units still have Transformation Boost, which is why it works. So we have the Artificial Life Forms team led by the LR Baby, with the LR First Form uh, Cell not available on Global yet, Physical LR Cell, EZA STR Perfect Cell, EZA Buhan, Baby Janemba, and a friend Baby Lead. Now. I just thought about this, but we don't have, of course, the new LR Cell yet or the new LR Gohan. So when those two come out, obviously, I'm sure they can make some of these teams as well. So take that into consideration. And last but not least, we have a kind of full power movie bosses combination with the um, physical Dragon Ball Super Broly as a lead. And we have Easy A Janemba, Easy A Golden Cell, Golden Cell. Golden Frieza, <laughs> um, Final Form Cooler, Angel Golden Frieza, Transforming Frieza, and a friend uh, DBS Broly. And for Substitute, we have quite a few good options. We have the LR Full Power um, Frieza, we have the Tech Transforming Trunks, AGL Transforming uh, Zamasu, UI Goku, Gogeta Blue, Easy A Tech Cell, Final Form Frieza on JP. And we have uh, 21, and last but not least, we have the uh, Int Goku Black. So those are your options, guys, for Transformation Boost. Like I said, a lot of different options for teams um, that you can bring because there are so many units that have Transformation Boost, right? So uh, basically build the best team that you possibly can with the best lead that you possibly can use. And good luck to you. That's number 24. Number 25 is a... Very free-to-play friendly, the one one free-to-play friendly, I'd say, um, <laughs> category Super Battle Road stage, and that would be, of course, Ginyu Force, and 90, I mean, actually, all these units, I was gonna say, like, 95%, but no, all of these units are free-to-play in some sense, uh, the only reason I kind of hesitated was because this guy is available through 
um, the Battlefield Shop, and you know, for some newer players, it's kind of hard to beat the Battlefield event and get those gems or memories or whatever. But for the rest of these guys, they are definitely free to play. And uh, at, you can also, of course, just use the AGL Birder as opposed to the LR Physical uh, Ginyu and you should do just fine. So I'm very, very happy that they implemented this. I'm very glad that there's a stage that, um, you know, even most free-to-play players should be able to beat as long as they put in the work. So uh, that's awesome. There's the Ginyu Force team. You know, these are all the free-to-play Ginyu Force units you can farm. And uh, there is the uh, LR Ginyu from the Battlefield Shop. So there we go. And now we're on the movie bosses stage. And for this stage, Prism Azure recommends a AGL Turtles lead, Tech Broly, Int Bojack, EZA Golden Frieza, AGL Tapion, and EZA Int Janemba, and of course, a physical Broly lead. And for substitutes, we have quite a few here. There's the LR STR Broly, and this guy is a bit iffy to me personally, just because obviously he hits very, very hard, and I do like the fact he attacks all, but at the same time, he has no defense. Like, basically zero defense after a couple supers and he gets hit very hard too so he's definitely a liability on the team and you would have to have to hide him you know a lot so I personally wouldn't bring him but he's definitely an option and we also have the LR Beerus, uh, EZA Beerus and of course if you're gonna bring one you should bring both because they link extremely extremely well we have the EZA Wrathful Broly, the EZA Physical Broly, which is of course not available on Global yet, AGL Metal Cooler, Final Form Cooler, uh, STR Janemba, as well as Transforming Frieza. And that is Movie Bosses. Number 27 now is Pure Saiyans. And for this team, we have the SSBE Vegeta lead. We also have, um, oh, so anybody that's curious about why SSBE is the recommended lead as opposed to the transforming uh, physical Vegeta. I believe the reason for that is because the SSBE Vegeta makes your team tankier. And as I said before, um, tanking is a very key component of Super Batara, right? So since this guy gives 170 to defense and HP, I believe, um, I think he's actually the better option here. So we have the SSBE Vegeta as the lead, and then LR Bardock, LR Kaelin Khalifla, um, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, as well as a friend SSB Vegeta lead. And as far as substitutes go, man, there are so many different substitutes for this category because it's just such a big category with so many good units. So I'm actually not going to read out all these guys. We can take a look for a second. And I personally am so curious to see how like crazy the teams can get and like what kinds of teams people can use to clear the stage because there's just so many options, man. There's so many great possibilities for this specific stage because of how massive the category is. So that is pure sayings for you. And uh, yeah, if you guys have some great teams or creative teams that you've come up with to beat this stage, let me know in the comments down below. That's pure sayings. Number 28 is Future Saga. And he actually gave us two options for uh, Global and JP, mainly because JP has a much better leader in the tech transforming trunks, which we don't have yet. So uh, this is the JP team. We have uh, LR Vegito Blue, uh, AGL Future Gohan, uh, LR Trunks and Mai, the Int Support Mai, and also the Physical Gowasu and Zamasu, and a friend Tech Trunks. But for Global, we are still stuck with Physical Future Gohan right now, who I actually don't have, so I would actually be happy to pull him uh, on that ticket banner and then the rest of the team stayed the same except for the last two here the um, Int Mai is replaced with physical uh, LR Gohan who is actually very very good like now with 170% uh, leads so he is not a bad option at all and the last one is the uh, Int Zamasu as opposed to the Gawasu so that's the team for global that's the team for JP and substitutes we have uh, LR Goku Black, we have the AGL Transforming Zamasu, STR Rose, EZA Physical Goku Black, uh, STR Rage Trunks, Tech Vegito Blue, EZA Support Trunks, EZA Support Vegeta, as well as last but not least, this um, Int Transforming Goku Black. I don't know why I always struggle to say his name. Like for some reason when I look at his face, like maybe I'm so mesmerized by that by that glare that I just like it stuns me man because every time i look at that picture i'm like what is this guy's name i'm like oh wait it's goku black it's goku black okay anyways uh next up is full power and for full power we have a couple options as well 
So one is um, this team right here with the physical Broly as well as LR killing Khalifla, LR Goku and Frieza transforming Goku, SSB, Vegeta and transforming Vegeta. And the next one is LR Bojack, EZA, Golden Frieza, Angel Golden Frieza, Physical Mega Shenron, and Transforming Frieza. And then the third option is actually a Siblings Bond slash Goku's Family build with the, Go uh, the LR Gohan and Goten, um, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, LR Gohan, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, uh, Physical Transforming Goku, sorry, Vegeta Transforming Goku, and also a, a uh, LR Go Bros as a friend. And for substitutes, we have Tech Broly, STR Broly, um, STR LR Full Power Goku, EZA Perfect Cell, uh, EZA Physical Broly, Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, EZA uh, STR Broly, EZA uh, Physical Full Power Frieza, and last but not least, we have STR uh, Omega Shenron and that is stage number 29 guys that's full power and last but not least we have the androids category which is um, another category that I am extremely excited for mainly because I recently pulled MVP 17 on these uh, four-year banners and I really want to test out the team so we have the physical Android 17 LR first form cell LR physical LR physical cell tech uh, Android 16 who is such an amazing tank and we also have Easy A Final Form Cell, um, the Easy A Int uh, Android 13 and also MVP 17 and for substitutes we have uh, Android 21, we have Tech 17, Easy A Perfect Cell, uh, Easy A Tech uh, 13, uh, Super 17, Easy A Int Perfect Cell, the newly awakened, at least on global, um, Android 18, uh, AGL Android 18, and finally, physical Android 17. So that, for you guys, is Androids, and of course, the LR Cell can be on this team too. Uh, the new one, that is, once he is released, and same thing for full power. You can probably include this LR Gohan. I'm sure he's going to be great on this team, despite all the restrictions. I'm sure he's still going to be very much optimal on Super Bad Road, so... Or most likely. I, I, I don't want to make promises, but I think he's going to be very good on Super Bad Road still. So uh, there you go, guys. Those are all of the 10 new stages, all the recommend teams, all the substitutes that Prism Azura recommends. And like I said, I don't take credit for the information that's provided here. It's all him. And uh, once again, thank you very much to Prism Azure for the info. And there you go. That's the guide for you guys. Hopefully you guys found it useful in some way. Hopefully at least it gave you some ideas for what teams and what units you can bring. And we have a little parting message from Prism Azure right here. User Prism Azure, good luck. There you go, my friends. That is going to do it for today's video. Um, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more, then definitely consider subscribing to the channel, smash that subscribe button, and join the Tiger Squad today. And also, oh, of course, as always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And that's all I gotta say, guys. That is that is the new Super Battle Road Category Teams team building guide from Prism Azure. And, you know, until more Super Battle Road stages come out, that's gonna do it for now. Guys, have a fantastic, fantastic day. I will see you very soon in the next video. Um, until next time, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.